Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good upon anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was dead as a doornail. Mind, I don't mean to say that I know, of my own knowledge, what there is particularly dead about a doornail. I myself might have been inclined to regard a coffin nail as the deadest piece of ironmongery. But the wisdom of our ancestors is in the simile. You would therefore permit me to repeat emphatically that Marley was as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead? Of course he did. How could it be otherwise? Scrooge and he were partners for, I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole friend, and his sole mourner. And even Scrooge was not so dreadfully cut up by this sad event, but was an excellent man of business, even on the very day of the funeral. The mention of Marley's funeral brings me back to the point I started from. There is no doubt that Marley was dead. This must be distinctly understood, or nothing wonderful can come from the story we are going to relate. Ah, humbug. Join town and country players to start your holiday season with Charles Dickens' beloved classic, A Christmas Carol.